Hey guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you for watching this video. Now today I'm going to show you how you can create this kind of effect in Photoshop. Now this is commonly used in backgrounds, uh, if we just zoom in here. Uh, this is common, commonly used in the top bar of backgrounds, so you may have seen it done before. Well, there's like a split down the middle where them little boxes are that I'm not sure what they do. But if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Uh, I'm just going to show you how to do this, kind of a basic tutorial. Uh, someone sent me a message on how you do it, so I just thought I would make a tutorial on it. So we're going to get started, go to File, New, yeah, leave them properties as it is. Uh, if I'm going to do fit on screen. Uh, if we just add a square in, and you know, I'm just going to do this, but if you download my template, uh, if you if, if you um, don't, if you, if you want a background, uh, like a basic one, uh, download my template. Um, link in the description. Uh, yeah, download that, and you'll have the top bar, and there'll be a box like this, and then you can follow this tutorial if you don't have one. Uh, but if you do have a tutorial, uh, you just and you've create, you've got your top bar. Uh, just right click and go to rasterize layer. Now this makes the edit layer like pretty much non-editable, but it kind of fills up to the whole document size. So now we're going to go to the pen tool, and just make sure that paths is selected and also just the first pen tool and not the freeform pen tool um, so just go ahead and wherever we want it to like be subtracted uh, first click and then if you hold shift and go across it will kind of be at a right angle for you so it'll be, at, I think that, it'll be at 45 degrees it'll kind of snap on so it'll be the same as the, as the opposite side so it's not all skew with and that so now if you just hold shift again, it'll be a straight line. And if you go up and connect it to that, it'll just create... Ugh, my voice is... um, My voice is... Uh, my throat's really hurting at the moment. Oh, so... My voice, I'll, probably, I'll probably sound different. Uh, but now once you've got the path selected, what you want to do is you want to, on the pen tool, I don't know why I changed, right click and go to make selection. And just click OK. <coughs> Sorry about that. And just go to the eraser tool, make sure the brush is big enough. And it'll, now you've made the selection, it will only let you delete what's in that path. So you just go ahead and scrape away. And there you have it. You have the basic basic sort of gap in the top bar. Uh, it's going to be used for many different things, not just a YouTube background top banner. Uh, but you can just go ahead and add some options, for example, like a gradient overlay. Uh, just going into layer styles, you know, maybe just like a dark grey charcoal kind of colour. Um, well, you could add a stroke. Uh, go to bevel and emboss, you know, go to style stroke emboss. And it'll emboss the stroke. Uh, you can just change the colours if you want. Uh, whatever. Whatever, whatever. Like so. Bevel and emboss, you know, maybe increase the size. Stroke, change to two. Uh, but no, I've kind of got the basics done there. I'm not going to drag this on more than I need to. But no, thanks for watching this video, guys. I know it's kind of basic, but uh, I'm sure it will help some of you out. And you can use this for many different things, as I said. Uh, but thanks for watching this video. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon.